time ended and I'll be showing you how to play Fly Away. As a conservationist, you'll be helping our feathered friends along their journey on the East Asian Australasian Flyway. To win, a player must collect the greatest number of points from placing links, completing migratory routes, and saving birds. Players will compete to collect as many points as possible until the game ends under one of these three circumstances. A player reaches the 100 point mark, a player saves six birds, or all foul play cards are drawn. Everyone then tallies their total points and the player with the highest score wins. In this video, we will be setting the game up for two players. First, distribute a pawn and 35 links of the same colour to each player. The pawn is used to keep track of a player's score, while links are used to create migratory routes to save birds. Next, we will be setting up the three boards in the game. The bird board, the map board, and the event board. You can place your player pawns at the zero mark on the map board. You move up and down the score track as you earn and lose points. Let's start setting up the bird board. This is meant for bird cards, which show the birds you will be trying to save as you complete migratory routes. Shuffle the bird cards and place them on the bird deck slot. Then, take the top three cards and place them face up in the roosting area. Next, check the start and end points indicated on each of the three bird cards. And place the location markers on the map accordingly. Once you're done with setting up the bird board and placing the location markers, move on to the event board. This is for two types of events, wing it and foul play. Winged cards have effects that will boost your chances of winning the game. Shuffle them and distribute two to each player. Place the remaining winged cards on the event board. Foul play cards on the other hand have effects that will hinder your success in the game. These are divided into three tiers based on the severity of their effects. The number of foul play cards in each game is determined by the number of players and follows a 3-2-2 ratio. For this two-player game, we will be using 6 cards for Tier 1, 4 cards for Tier 2, and another 4 for Tier 3. Shuffle each of the tiers separately. The tiers are separated by two disastrous events called Botastrophes, which affect all players unlike Foul Play events. Shuffle the 6 Botastrophe cards and pick 2 for the Foul Play deck. First, place the Tier 3 deck down on the Foul Play deck slot. Then. Take the first Botastrophe card and place it on the Tier 3 deck. Then, place the Tier 2 deck on the first Botastrophe card. Then, take the second Botastrophe card and place it on the Tier 2 deck. And finally, place the Tier 1 deck on the second Botastrophe card. You should now be all set up and ready for play. With your bird deck shuffled and the three birds laid out in the roosting area, the location markers for the three birds placed on the map, the winged cards shuffled and two distributed to each player, the foul play cards arranged with tier 1 deck on top, and player pawns ready at the zero mark and 35 links distributed to each player. We'll now move on to playing the game, but before that, just a reminder, the objective of the game is to get the most number of points from placing links, completing migratory routes, and saving birds. Select a player to start the game and take turns clockwise. On each turn, Players will go through three phases the draw phase, the action phase, and the cleanup phase. During the draw phase, a player takes one winged card and one foul play card. You will have to resolve the foul play card's effect before proceeding with play. You can either carry out the effect as stated on the card, or neutralize the effect using one or more winged cards called squawk cards. This is where the action phase comes in. You can use Squawk and other winged cards. Squawk cards come with values from 1 to 3 and can be used to neutralize foul play effects. The neutralizing cost for each foul play is shown on the top right corner of the card. You can play a Squawk card on its own or combine it with other Squawk cards to neutralize a foul play effect. Once you've resolved a foul play card, place it in the discard pile on the event board. Squawk cards can be used to neutralize foul play effects, but not catastrophes. 
These disastrous events, when drawn, affect all players and cannot be reversed during the action phase. Besides squad cards, you can use other winged cards to help you place links on the map and save birds. You can keep up to 5 winged cards in your hand at the end of each turn, unless certain cards say otherwise. Discard the excess cards. These discarded winged cards can be shuffled and used again if all the winged cards from the draw pile are drawn before the end of the game. Now that we've covered the winged cards, it's time to move on to placing links, so that you can start saving birds. On the map, you will see wetland, open country, and forest habitats. The lines between habitats are known as linkways. Each linkway can hold only one link. A bird is saved when enough links are placed to complete its migratory route from the start point to the end point. You can place up to 3 links each turn, but you must abide by the right connection rule. You can place a link only when it connects with another link of yours. This means that you can either place two links in a row that connect with each other, or place one or more links that connect to a previously placed links. You cannot place a link that is isolated like this. You also cannot place a single link like this without connecting to another of your own link. Another thing players need to note about placing links is the general direction of the migratory routes they use to save birds. While players can place links wherever they would like on the map, the migratory routes they use to save birds must be from north to south. This is because migratory birds only fly downwards during their autumn journey. This means that you can use side-facing links and downward-facing links when saving a bird, but not upward-facing links. To save a bird, you will have to be the player who places the last link to complete its migratory route. Here is a route that cannot be used when saving a bird. Once you save a bird, you can collect it from the roosting area. Each bird comes with a bird power you can use during the action phase. Pay attention to the exact conditions for use of bird powers. Most bird powers can only be used on subsequent turns after saving a bird, while some can be used immediately. Once you successfully save a bird, you will also gain points indicated on the card. And this is where you will be tallying points. Players will also add additional points based on the number of links they contributed to the route they used to save a bird. Each link is equal to one point. Besides the player who saved the bird, others who have contributed to the route also get points. Finally, in the cleanup phase, new birds are drawn to replace any that might have been saved during the action phase. When replacing bird cards in the roosting area and changing the location markers, do not remove any of the links you use to save birds. Links are only removed if certain foul play or catastrophe cards come into play. That's it for all three phases of the game. The game ends under one of the three previously mentioned scenarios. A player reaches the 100 point mark, or when a player saves six birds, or when all foul play cards have been drawn. Once the game ends, all players tally the points including any bonus points. The player with the highest score wins. With that, we've covered most of the game and you should be able to start playing and saving birds. As you start filling the map with links, there might be instances where migratory routes are already completed when a bird is drawn from the roosting area. Here's what you should do in such instances. Here are two options. The first one. Let's say it's the blue player's turn. They can save this bird by forfeiting all other actions, like drawing event cards and placing links, after which it becomes the next player's turn. Alternatively, you can skip saving the bird and play as normal. There might be another place on the map where you can place a link and save the bird. That's all you need to know to play Fly Away. For more information, check out our website. And if you have any questions for us, please leave them in the comments below. Good luck on your journey and may the ultimate bird conservationist win!